I am here south of Market in San Francisco in Folsom Street and what kind of innovation can we expect here? There is everything being innovated but I'm now taking a look at Alt School, Alternative School, a very known school of the Silicon Valley people here. One of the investors is Mark Zuckerberg and uh, the widow of Steve Jobs and this company got 140 million in funding and this is the headquarters, look, there it starts and there it ends. And uh, it has a school of 33 people behind me and it has about 40 people working on uh, tools, on digital tools. They have about four schools and they're open, uh, about to open six more, uh, two more schools in, uh, in New York. Now, and they want to reinvent elementary, um, elementary uh, education. I was not allowed to film in there and to make pictures. There's a lot of things on, uh, on the online where you can take a look, but I'll give you my impressions. First, the old school is a beautiful beautiful school not so much in terms of luxury but in terms of how many teachers they have they have fantastic well well trained teachers and uh, we were inside they had 33 people and they had about three or four teachers one what which was the director for half an, uh, for half uh, half an fte but uh, the other one uh, three and a half teachers uh, who are doing nothing but educating and every kid has either an ipad when they're young and at eight year old they all switch to a Chromebook and the idea is to give kids a lot of flexibility the, but there's a lot of difference with the Steve Jobs call which we start in the Netherlands so we have a um, all the kids have a playlist and the parents and the oh sorry and the teachers can make a curriculum and put things in their playlist so the tools they develop is all to be uh, to make sure that the kids can learn flexible the parents can say whenever they, uh, they pick up the kids or they drop the kids, they can interact with the teacher. Uh, all that technology is built in. It's sort of a Facebook for schools is, uh, is there. But then they have this, the 3,200 goals people have in English education. Here's my daughter who went with me in that uh, school. They have 3,400 30 tools and they track, they try to track the progress on all of those 3,200 uh, tools. And of course, how they develop those tools and how flexible that software is to adapt determines the success because at the moment you need a lot of teachers per student you know are uh, there 10 kids for every teacher and that's of course is a beautiful beautiful uh, ratio but not anything for public education and secondly every kid has a computer well we saw yesterday that in new york at the public school you can only have as many computers in the room as there are teachers so there's a lot of barriers which uh, the public school has to implement modern systems like that. So one student uh, per computer is uh, really interesting. What's also interesting, they had an iPad, but they changed from iPad to Android because the iPad you cannot organize. You cannot control the iPad and make sure that you can determine what students can do, which they need. So they switched from iPads to Androids because of the um, controllability of the school. And then they use Chrome, Chromebooks for all the other uh, students from eight year up. And I thought that was an interesting thing. We take a look at the, um, at the tools they have. They don't do digital learning themselves. They just try to make all the dashboards available to make sure that you have progress report, that you have 360 degrees feedback and that the, that the teachers can use tools like Khan Academy, but all kinds of other uh, tools, YouTube, to uh, make sure that the kids get uh, certain goals. And one of the goals are uh, the, the official English and math. <laughs> Hello, Vince. Thank you very much for my, your pet. But I'm actually now, I'm recording. Okay. And, uh, the, uh, and of course, they also have the social, uh, the social tools, the working together, the group things, which they're trying to do. It was my impression, it was my impression that there's a lot of work to be done on those tools. I mean, these people are all smart, they're all educated, they're obviously well funded, they have fantastic students. It costs $25,000 uh, to put the kids in school. So it is a Silicon Valley and 140 million funding. So this is really a uh, Silicon Valley way to develop uh, tools and systems and methodology to, uh, to, do, to design the new elementary school. The goal is, that it's not only for private schools, the goal is that it's for all the different schools and they can either uh, license their software or they can build schools all over the world. So I was impressed about this pocket of innovation, but it doesn't look like it's going to uh, expand very quickly. They will need a couple of years to get the tools right 
before they will expand to tens of hundreds or thousands of schools. But it's certainly an, uh, an adventure to, uh, keep into my, uh, to keep in the eye and to uh, monitor progress. Altschool.com in San Francisco, and these are my first impressions.